Larry Mursk is one of the biggest moving objects ever built. I've come on board to find out more about this titan of maritime engineering and to discover how enormous ships like this affect all of our lives all over the world. This isn't just the story of a very, very big boat. It's the story of pretty much all the man-made stuff in the world. Pretty much everything we buy will be moved from where it was made to where it needs to be on one of these. This gigantic container ship travels a continuous 45,000 kilometer route between Asia and Europe, a task it was designed to do non-stop for the next 25 years. Currently, it's heading towards Rotterdam, the biggest port in Europe. This ship is big, really big, fully laden, it'll carry over 18 thousand metal containers like the one I'm under right now. And let's not mess about with feet and inches or meters. It's a quarter of a mile long. It's also, I can't help but noticing, empty. Where is everyone? Have we got the right day? If this were an aircraft carrier, it would have a crew of, what, 6,000 people on board? This is longer than an aircraft carrier and, well, I can see nobody. With. Is this the world's biggest game of hide and seek? I'm beginning to feel like I might be missing out. Is everybody all in one place? <laughs> it's deserted. Do you work here? I do happen to Good. work here. Of course he works here. He's not stowaway, is he? I'm, I'm trying to get inside. Right, well, there's a door there, so if you just enter there, I'll come and meet you in two seconds. That door? Yeah. Brilliant. There, I mean. Oh, am I yeah. glad to see you? Yeah. It was... I thought stowed away on a yeah. plane yeah. ship or something. <laughs> nice to meet you. You're second officer, yeah? I am, yeah. Yeah. So, you said you're quite young. I thought that's quite a grown-up job, isn't it? It is, but... Well, I mean, that's not far from the captain, is it? Third in command, I think. Anyway, you want to go to the captain? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to go to the captain. Thank you very much. Third in command? How many floors are there? There's actually ten. Gymnasium? Yeah. Barbecue area? Mm-hmm. Cinema? Mm-hmm. Swimming pool? Mm-hmm. I'm on the right boat. You are. OK. You are. Right. Just to be clear, that music isn't playing in the lift. They've put that on in the edit. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> No, oh, that's worse. Thank you. Is the captain friendly? The captain is a really good guy. OK. Do I have to, like... You have to salute him. Do I? No. Don't be taking the mick, cos I'll just believe stuff like that. <laughs> John Molly Jensen is solely responsible for this $190 million boat, its 25 crew, and the $400 million worth of cargo it's carrying. Like Lego, Pastries and Maersk itself, he's Danish. John has spent over 40 years working the seas, and this is his final tour of duty before he retires. I guess he loves his job. It's hard to tell. He's not what you'd call chatty. Captain, and I should say I, I get quite nervous around people with high ranks, so I will just call you Captain if that's OK. Fine with me. And this is a really big ship. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars of ship and cargo. Yeah. Logically, there's only one thing to ask. Can I have a go? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can, what can I do? Just put it. I'm scared now, I've asked. No. So what, I just... I mean, you're not scared of placing yourself in a race car and pressing the gas pedal, right? Well, that doesn't always go well, does it? Yeah. Just uh, push until you meet some resistance. This tiny action makes big things happen. The Barry Maersk has two massive 43,000 horsepower diesel engines, which, with just a small movement of the throttle, can push this huge ship up to a giddy 23 nautical miles an hour. Yeah, it's slow for a car, but quite nippy for something which weighs more than a quarter of a million tons and doesn't have a brake pedal. 
How quickly can we stop? Somewhere between four and five miles. Four or five miles to really yeah. put the brakes on. Yeah. Yeah. You're very, you're relaxed about it. Fine. Yeah. I can't help but notice there's no steering wheel. And we still have this. That's it. That's it, yeah. The helm. Yeah, the helm. It's just that is little... it. Yeah. Understand that's it? Yeah, yeah. It's yours. Well, there it is. Bit of an anticlimax. Yeah. All of this. Yeah. And you've got that. Yeah. The captain has encouraged me to go and bother someone else. So, remember my new mate Joe? He's the first person I met and the second officer, which makes him, rather confusingly, the third in command. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's qualified to give me a tour around. Lead on, I'll follow you. And it's immediately clear this thing is more cargo than boat. The ship currently weighs over 250,000 tonnes, but only about 63,000 of them are actual ship. And I'm not just talking about the containers you can see. There are even more in the hold. The Mary Maersk carries its shipping containers stacked in columns, 23 across its width and 24 along its length. And because there's no deck, the containers can be piled up to 21 high. Right now, Joe is going to show me one empty section on board that'll be filled at the next stop in Rotterdam. <sighs> Joe, I don't think much of your stairs. Oh, my... God, that is a huge... That'll be filled with cargo eventually. In the next port, we're going to go fully loaded. That's oh. the belly of the ship. And huge. <sighs> yeah, you're obviously used to steep stairs. Ah! So this is a hold. This is what the whole ship's about. In this cathedral-like space, we're actually more than 10 metres below sea level. This is an enormous building. And this is not the whole hold, is it? It's not all of it. No. And hang on, this isn't even full height, is it? Because I go up above... Double it. Oh, so double this in every direction. Basically, yeah. That direction, that direction, mm -hmm. and that... And you've mm -hmm. got one of 11 holes. Mm hmm It's... I honestly think my brain is struggling to get hold of how big it is. Fully loaded, this ship carries a whopping 18,000 containers. If they were placed end to end, they would reach all the way into space. It's kind of spooky. It is kind of spooky, and it can get spooky when you're sailing because of the wind and the waves. You get these noises that are unexplained, and a lot of the crew are superstitious. Oh, that's so proper maritime stuff. Yeah. So there's, there's a sort of a sense of it being a bit haunted and a bit... Yeah, yeah. I totally get that. Ugh. I would not like to be left here on my own with a torch with slightly fading batteries. By doing away with a deck and piling its containers high, the Mary Maersk is able to carry over 200,000 tonnes of cargo. But how can something that looks like it has the structural integrity of a giant bathtub be strong enough to survive the cyclones of the South China Seas? I've come to the ship's kitchen, Challenge. whatever, to demonstrate something absolutely critical to ships like this, and I need this sandwich box. So, imagine this is a ship. That's its deck on top. It's pretty rigid, but for container ships like this, you can't have that deck. They need to put containers in there. So. Here's one I prepared earlier, as this is now a food show. And as you can see, with no lid, it's all flexible. But when I say prepared earlier, I really did, because what I cut off was this bit. If we take the lid off our sandwich box, don't need that, with this bit on top, the rim, if you like, it's a lot more solid, it's a lot less flexible than without. And this bit here, it's called a torsion box. A torsion box is a reinforced rim just like the rim on a bucket, a cardboard cup, or a sandwich box. Its purpose is to stop the ship from flexing. And on the Mary Maersk, it's so big, it doubles up as corridors that run along the length of the hull. Now that's simple science used in a big way. Next, I feel even smaller than usual. 
I honestly feel like I've been shrunk. But I do get to play with the big boys. I did not expect to be doing this today.